Today, I'm gonna play Real or Cake with ABC News journalist Ashin Singh. That's right. I'm going to make a hyper-realistic cake, and then I'm going to place the cake among real objects and ask Ashin... Which one's a cake? And I want you to play, too. Do you think you'll be able to tell which object is actually a hyper-realistic cake? Let's play Real or Cake. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today, I'm gonna make a cake of a potato. <laughs> Yep, I'm making a potato cake. I can't believe I haven't made a potato cake yet. Now I gotta figure out what type of potato. Here we've got some russet taters. Yeah, it's a, it's a little basic. White potato, yeah, it's a little small. How about a red skin spud? I do love that color. Oh, look, look at these sweet potatoes. They've got these like hairs. Those are fun. What are they, roots? I'm gonna call them potato hairs. Holy smokes, look how big this thing is. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think we have a winner. Sweet potato wins, sweet like a cake. I think I've chosen the most interesting looking potato of the potential potatoes. I don't know how I'm gonna make those potato hairs, but I'll worry about that later. Today, you're gonna watch me make two sweet potato cakes. One I'll make in my typical tiny cake studio, and that one is for all of you to guess, real or cake. The other cake is for Ashin, and that one is filmed in a large, bright studio with camera people walking around, where you're gonna see both me and Ashin chatting it up. Like when he asked me this question. The design of this cake vary depending on how weird these potatoes look. Are you trying to go for one specific type of potato? Well, Ashen, I am not trying to replicate just one specific sweet potato today. When I'm making a cake of something as organic as a vegetable, I like to have fun with it. So I look at all the real potatoes and I pick out my favorite things about each one. I might want to replicate the size of this one and then the imperfections of another. Sometimes I just completely make stuff up. Do I want my potato to look dirtier than the other potatoes? Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I don't always get to make decisions on the fly with all of my hyper-realistic cakes. Sometimes I have to literally measure the cake and be super precise. Or it doesn't look like the object I'm trying to make. Like when I made a stack of cups. A cup doesn't look like a cup if the measurements aren't correct. But potatoes come in all different shapes and sizes. So I've got some wiggle room. Ashin films news segments with all kinds of people all over the world for ABC News and Nightline, which is why I have the opportunity to play real or cake with him. And I am feeling the pressure. I'm trying to play it cool in front of him. Like, yeah, this is no big deal. I'm just making a cake. But on the inside, I'm thinking, what if he gets it right? What if he picks the cake among the real potatoes? I'd be embarrassed. I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to trick him. Typically when I play real or cake, I showcase the finished cake and I ask which one's a cake. But today's version of real or cake is a little different. There are quite a few things going against me here. The first is Ashin is with me the whole time. He's watching me make the cake. So he's gonna get a very, very good look at it. Up close, in person. Usually the people guessing don't know if it's gonna be the big one or the small one. Is it more round or thin? They don't know, but he knows. Another reason why this is a little bit harder on me than usual is because we're playing in person, he can kind of walk around it, get a 3D view. He's not looking at it from just one angle. So I have to make sure that this potato looks good from every single angle. <sighs> this is tough. I really want to prank him. I want to walk the walk. But let's not forget, Ashin is just one person. You all are playing real or cake today too. All of you are going to guess which is a cake at the end of this video. That means that there is potential for millions of people across all my social media to see this cake and guess. Talk about pressure. I, I got to do a good job. Are you ready for the most difficult part of this whole cake? It's time to make the potato hairs. You know, those thin potato roots. I'm both excited and like not sure if this is even gonna work. At first I thought I could just like roll out some fondant really thin, but then I realized just how thin these roots are. Fondant that thin is going to break the second I pick it up. It is super fragile. So I'm trying something <laughs> pretty wild. I am cutting extremely thin strips of wafer paper and my plan is to dunk them into water. It has a little bit of food color in there and place the strips on plastic wrap. I believe that when the strips are dry, they'll hold their crooked little root shape. Are they actually gonna look like the real ones? I just don't know. I can't tell yet because while they're wet, they don't look like them at all. <laughs> but I gotta give them a chance. Worst case scenario, I can pluck the roots from the real potatoes so none of them have roots. But these potato hairs are the reason I chose the sweet potato. They are the key to convincing people that my cake is a real potato. Do you wear clothes or know someone who does? Well, get yourself some more by heading over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com. That's where you can get some Sidesurf Cake Studio clothes. We also have coffee mugs, stickers, beach towels, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link below so you don't get lost on your way to the store. And now back to the cake. 
all those potato hairs dry, I'm gonna paint the cake. I love hand painting cakes. Color matching is really hard, but also really rewarding when I'm able to match the colors with the real thing. And I hardly ever get it right on the first try. I mix colors and guess what I think is gonna work, and then make adjustments as I go. Sometimes I need a little bit more red, sometimes I need a little bit more yellow. Color matching takes patience and practice, and I love it. Guess what? The potato hairs are almost dry. I haven't had a look at them yet, but my goodness, do I want them to look good. I really, really want them to look good. They are the perfect edible detail that will convince people that my cake is the real thing. If I can pull this off, people are gonna be shocked. A lot of people will look at my potato cake and think, that one can't be the cake. There's no way she can make realistic potato roots that thin and edible. And they'll assume my cake is a real potato. It's the perfect detail. This is make or break here. All right, let's have a look. Yep, they're definitely dry, and they look like they shriveled up nicely. Let's compare the real root with my root. <gasps> I love it! I absolutely love it! My edible roots look just like the real ones, it's crazy! I've never been so proud of what looks like a piece of garbage! <laughs> seriously, seriously, now I'm feeling good. Forget the game, I'm done, mic drop, I'm going home. <laughs> no, but for real. It's time to get serious. You know how I said this version of Realer Cake with Ashin is a little bit harder on me? Because he watched me make the cake in person, so he's super familiar with what it looks like? I'm gonna place his cake among the potatoes. A lot of potatoes. <laughs> Let's see if he can guess which one's a cake. All right, I think I know which one. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be no, because it wasn't <laughs> that light brown. It wasn't. What was it? Because the new ones were okay. All right. Man. All right. Let's try this one. Can I go over and grab yeah, it? Okay. Right? Okay. Cool. Cool. You can ventilate it for me. South. Like a little bit more towards you, towards you, the one, yeah, that's the one I want. Right here? Yeah. Okay. All right. We have the cake. Well, we've got the potato. The potato. Let's see if it's a cake. Okay. <laughs> that is not a cake. I got God. You got me. I'm feeling like a real dummy, especially because I actually saw you make the sweet potato cake. Oh, he guessed wrong. <laughs> I had so much fun playing Realer Cake with him. All right, let's cut his cake. Oh my God. <laughs> And now it's time for you to guess. Here's your sweet potato cake. But which one? Have a good look. We've got quite a few angles here. Let me know in the comments if you get this right. Or if you get it wrong, I want to hear from you. Which of these sweet potatoes is a cake? It is not that one. Here's your sweet potato cake with edible potato hairs and all. Ah, this was so much fun. Could we actually eat some of this cake? Absolutely. Cheers. Awesome. <laughs> I have the best tasting sweet potato I've ever had. <laughs> I'll see you next week for another cake.